What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another MLB The Show 1999 video, and here we are. Uh, the Player of the Month stuff dropped. We got free packs. Um, let's see. Um, we got Raymond Laureano. Did very good, actually. Seth Lugo. We expected it. Mike Clevenger. We got a Tommy Canole, whatever. Trav Darno. Pat Corbin, 88. Danny Santana, 88. 85. Dickerson. That's what we got in packs. I will be popping all five of these packs. On top of this free pack that we have, um, it doesn't really show anything crazy. Um, let's just get the bundle. Um, so we got that, and we got five of these bad boys. Now, we'll be popping these. It looks like that they came out early. They did not come out at 3 o'clock, so that's good news. Let's pop these packs. Um, let's get into it. Let's open these packs, baby. We got a ton of free packs. 16 headliner pack for free a monthly awards flashback so this is interesting let's go with the regular pack first um as per usual drop 10k in the comments to try to win 10k it's very simple like the vid sub if you are new another diamond dynasty video for you and let's see if we get some fire probably not yeah it's looking dry nothing crazy i don't even know how many packs you get so so far i popped two Let's see what we get in this one. Wow, okay. So, it looks like these free packs suck. So, we get three free packs. We get a National Baseball Card Day. And we get a Diamond Bat that's not sellable. A Monthly Awards Flashback. Uh, it's a gold. That's pretty trash. Um, I don't really know. We got, okay, we got Montez. So, pretty much every player of the month is going to go down in value with that said. And that is not good. We do not want that. So, so far... These packs are not bad. We got a 16 headliner. Maybe we can pull some fire. And we got a gold. So, the free packs were trash. Maybe you guys get better. And look at that. The first one, we get a fire, fire, fire. We get Clevenger. So, that's a good one right there. Next up, we get another good one. We get Seth Lugo. So, we got Seth Lugo and Clevenger. We already made stubs off that. Next up, we got 88s. They're very cheap. So, so far, it's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and get Travis Darno, And we got another one, Travis Darno, Alex Dickerson. All right, let's go Corbin on this one. And last one of the July Monthly Awards flashbacks. And we get the same thing. So, these packs aren't the best. I mean, uh, I mean, there's the pack opening, I guess. Should I pop a bundle? Uh, nah, let's not pop a bundle. If you guys want to see a bundle, let's get this vid to 50 likes. Um, let's go over the market. Let's see what their prices are running at. Um, let's just check it out, man. Let's go to, uh, let's see, monthly awards. Here we are. We got Loriano. We got Clevenger at 31. Seth Lou at 30. DJ to me. I mean, he's not in it, but Tommy Cannell. I think that's how you say his name. I mean... It's alright. I mean, I'm not really a fan of it. Let's see what else they drop. Um, I know they dropped the Yuli Gurriel, uh, so let's check the tops. Did they drop tops? They did drop tops. A new Paul J Paul Dejong, a new Didi, a new Juan Soto. Oh, that's an interesting card. We got a new Sony Gray. You guys probably know about this. I did not watch the stream, so I'm new to this. We got a new, who is, JBJ. Ooh, I like that. He's got a 90 versus righties. Great fielding. Don't know why the speed's not there. An 85 Mike Leak. Not bad. An 85 Mike Mikolas. And a Mercerado. So they did drop some fire low key. We got a new Steven Matz. We got a new Philip Irvin who's doing pretty good. A new Matt Dasis. I think that's how you say his name. A new, yes, this guy on the Giants has been lighting it up. And it looks like that's all we got. So, yeah, the cards aren't the best. I mean, they're not bad. Paul Dejong stats are actually freaking good for a 92. Might try that card out. If you guys want to see gameplay with some of these cards, that's pretty interesting. So, right now, let's see what they dropped exactly. So, they dropped the packs. Let's see if they're limited. Let's see. So, we get 31,000 left in stock. So, they probably dropped like 40,000 packs. Let's check the solos. Let's check the moments. Make sure that... Let's see what we got. So we got the um, July monthly. We got Yuli win this game. Let's see. We got a pack here on. Any packs around? So I don't see anything about packs, which is good. Oh, you do get a pack. So you have to get all these packs for July monthly awards flashback. So 1 out of 25 chance for the rare. 1 out of 1 base. So, I mean, that's interesting. The Yuli 97 is disgusting. His stats are fire. Um... So, they do have the packs in stock. 
With that said, what I recommend doing is right when these packs go out of sale, I recommend selling them as soon as possible. That is pretty much the only way you can make stubs off this. Uh, it's kind of nice to give you a free pack. Maybe you'll pull a 90 uh, a fire headliner out of it, but a set 16 headliner, I don't know what is in those packs. So if you got the diamond out of it, go ahead and sell it quick. Or you could wait on it for when they're out of packs and everyone pops those packs. Because whoever gets a set 16 diamond, he's probably going to be really cheap. So if you guys know who the set 16 uh, diamond is, I don't remember who it is, the two diamonds, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, so so far, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. The auction crashed a little bit, not going to lie. Um, it's looking like you need to just sell whatever you got and try to pick up some monthly award flashbacks to make those uh, stubs. Right now, the market is way crashed, so... It's very crash. All those free packs, the conquest out, the new solos, the new moments. Yeah. Um, with that said, if you didn't sell your team like I did yesterday, you kind of lost a lot of stubs. For a fact, I sold my team. I made a ton of stubs, and I'm ready to go. I have a ton of investments in Trey Turner right now. So that's good to know. We got Trey Turner. Where is he? Right here. We got 1,300. We have 50 of Trey Turner. So if you could go invest in him, we got another roster update next week. Uh, it's a good time to take advantage, but let's look at the monthly. Let's see how much they're going down each time. Let's go. Monthly awards. So, Mike Clevenger already went down 2K from the, earlier this today. Loriano, his stats are actually very good. He's got speed. He's got the arm. He's got fielding. Vision's not the best, but he can't really hit lefties. But everything else, lefty and vision is really the only thing that I worry about. This card is very, very interesting. And honestly, I've been following this guy since he got pulled up. I picked him up last year when he got pulled up, and he's still... Playing really good, even though he's on the disabled list. Um, Seth Lugo, he literally has a zero ERA this month. Thank God the Mets are doing good. They're out by half a game. Let's go, Mets. This Seth Lugo card has some dirty-ass pitches. 30, 26K, I think he's a top reliever in the game. Like With those pitches, the 95 fastball, the curve, the two-seam, the slider, the change. Um, first of all, the two-seam away to lefties is perfect. The high fastball's got the heat, and the curveball low and away, change up low and away, slider low and away. I mean... Honestly, he's got the arsenal. Um, his home runs per 9 to 96. So this card is very stacked. I highly recommend you pick him up. And this dude on the Yankees, he's got a home run per 9 to 94. He's got the 4, the change, and the slider. Highly recommend the card, actually. He's got the freaking fast speed to go up and away to a righty, uh, up and away to a lefty. He's really got good speed. He's got good control. He's looking very good. His velocity's there. Definitely good card. He's even got breaks. So the home run per nine on these two new cards are very good. You might want to pick these up. This could really change your game in Diamond Dynasty. Um, Clevenger is good and all, but his home run per nine is not there, which is definitely something very bad. Um, that's not good. Home run per nine this game means a lot, especially when you're versus 99 overalls at this time of the game. But yeah, really, I would recommend the two relief pitchers. The Loriano is really good. Obviously, the Yuli Gurriel. Let's check out Danny Santana. He's all power versus lefty. His vision's trash. His speed's his fielding. So, really, he's a pitch hitter, in my opinion. Travis Darno's got the lefty 118. The vision's terrible. The fielding's all right. I mean, no, no one really wants to use these 88s this far in the game. But if you would, I mean, I would go Travis Darno over Danny Santana because he's a catcher. Not a lot of catchers in the game. But, yeah, guys. Um... Let's just look over the tops. I'm going to see what I think is good with the tops cards. Let's see. We got Paul DeJong at 30K. Uh, not too bad. I mean, he's pretty good, actually. The speed's not too good for a shortstop. This new Didi, I mean, I don't know really why they gave him a car. He's doing okay. Juan Soto, this card's actually really good. He's got the decent vision. He's looking pretty solid. Definitely a playable player. We got Sony Gray. We got 20K for him. I mean, there's really not that many bad cards. Uh, I just really recommend you pick up the cards I told you to. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Guys, drop a like, sub if you are new. This Mercerado is not that good. I mean, he has an 88 speed. He's a contact hitter, good vision. Uh, I mean, I would definitely recommend 100% the relief pitching. I feel like there's a lot of lacks in relief pitching, especially for the price. So, in my opinion, these are the new, like, one of the top relievers in the game. You guys are going to disagree, but... For that price, he's definitely they're definitely top relievers with the home run per nine, control, velocity, everything. They got the whole arsenal. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content tomorrow. Peace.
Full, full, full. 